you know, this time of the year is a, a really unique time for lavender green flowers. It's certainly our busiest time of the year, but it, we almost become seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The time and dedication that goes into every display, not depending on budget and size and client or location, uh, in my opinion, is what drives us forward and keeps making us get better and better. We start off each year by talking to the client um, at the initial stages and normally they send us their interpretation of their mood board. It's then our job to, from the sales and design team, to basically work a client relationship, find out what it is that they want from that. So when it ends up with me, I then go through the seasonality and what we can do that um, interprets their theme and brief as much as we can and what is also hardy, going to last a week does it need refreshing, which all takes in those budget elements, which we need to all consider when we're putting something together and that we need to get it in large volumes and quantities. We have to make sure that that is available. So it all has to be a long process to make sure from when we prototype it, say in April, they're going to get it in the summer months to make sure that we're fulfilling that. So the senior florists have a wealth of contacts um, with growers all over the globe. Unlike smaller florists, we don't go to markets for events like these. Um, we work well in advance um, with our growers to ensure exceptional quality and that our product is sustainably sourced. Um, we also get flowers locally in the UK, um, but we do work with um, growers in Ecuador that are fair trade um, and to make sure that a lot of our product has come from an ethical and um, clear transparency um, from where it was originally came from. One of the big things about being part of a family and business is that you're only ever as good as your last event. And I think that's almost tangible with the team. You know, as you walk down, they're always asking each other, you know, is this right? Or can I do any extra on here? Or taking things apart and putting them back together, making sure that it's the best that it can possibly be when it leaves is always the number one priority. One of the first things most important is the scale of the job. So we have to establish what we're doing, come up with a, a plan um, to make sure we have um, a sufficient amount of people, staff and vehicles to cover um, uh, all, all, all um, install. Um, we also have to make sure that we um, have the correct, adequate tools for communication um, and, a, and a backup plan for every element. Um, we will be delivering in excess of uh, a thousand designs across a uh, you know, vast uh, site, which is Ascot, um, with multiple rooms, and we have to make sure that we know um, each room, the site uh, plan, and everyone is briefed what they do, or where they go, what time. We also figure out logistics. Um, this is a, the last piece of the puzzle, but also a huge factor. It's all hands on deck when it comes to Royal Ascot, so everyone at Lavender Green helps with the install, including the sales team. Some of the rooms in the buildings require special delivery instructions, so it's my job to liaise with their team at the racecourse and our drivers to ensure we have correct delivery timings and contacts. Um, all of the drivers and installation team have to be security cleared, and for such a big event we use trusted agency suppliers, so we have a massive team to check. I work closely with um, our florist and transport team to ensure all of the arrangements are made up to the client standard and the design spec. We usually visit the race course once the build is finished and then on site just before we start installing we brief the team and put them into groups to deliver their areas. From a florist perspective it's amazing. Um, we go from weddings to doing Royal Ascot, Queens, Wimbledon, so it's a real variety of clients and we've always got a real family feel all working together. People usually, uh, well, they never see us when we're installing. So for us, God, we will usually go there um, after all the public leaves. Um, it's around eight, nine o'clock. We'll be walking throughout the night to make sure everything is done properly. 
and we always gone before the public comes in. They don't see everyone, you know, who's who's doing what. They just come in and have this wild factor when they arrive. Um, and you know, we take huge satisfaction from then. Um, you know, when people come to us, say, "Wow, it looks amazing. When did you do it? How did you do it?" Because obviously, no one sees the scenes, the back of uh, of the house, how we do it. But you know, it's it's, it's very fascinating. We've got all of this going on at the moment with three or four events on um, at the same time. So it's making sure that everything that leaves the workshop is got lavender green flowers, his name associated to it, and you know, and, and everyone can see that it's from us and it's still maintaining the quality, the seasonality and the creativity, which is so key.